Hello YouTube friends, Dustin Bellinger here, and I am about to do my video here for the binder chain video. I uh, pulled out a binder here. Uh, this is my uh, Nebraska Connections binder that I've been kind of putting together here that I'm going to kind of run through and show you. So this here, I've never really done binders you know since I was probably you know in high school was when I kind of got away from doing cards and binders so things have been uh since then you know I just started recently uh going back to putting a few things you know just to kind of be able to do something with some of the extra stuff rather than boxes and top loading and everything but the stuff here in the binders for the most part it's all going to be kind of base and some a few inserts but uh you know nothing that's really that rare or anything numbered i always top load so but uh all these uh cards in this binder are uh, players that have some connection to the state of Nebraska start here with uh, Darren Erstead, which he was a player on Nebraska's baseball and football teams, uh, was the punter on the national championship football team, and was also first round pick and the number one overall pick for the California Angels. So these here, I've got, I've got his cards in here in uh, sorted by year, and he's really the only player I've got in here that I did that with. So these are like '96 cards, and then this next page here starts '97. And I'm normally not a doubles guy, but I did it kind of on his early cards. I'll put some doubles in here just because it's like I get some of these and I just don't want to get rid of them and it's not like he's a guy that there's a lot of people that collect him that I've got somebody convenient to give doubles to so these are more 97s yeah, yeah so lots of doubles here on the early stuff And this is checklist that he was on from 97. And we get into the 98s. And I try and if I've got a parallel, I try and put it next to the base card. So like the chrome version and the standard tops version there. There's another case where got like the Bowman Chrome or Bowman International whatever it was and next several several Ersteds there try and flip through and then there's some years you know I just don't have as many cards you'll see as we get further back he starts appearing in fewer and fewer sets you know he's pretty highly touted early on and you know as you go on he's still you know a pretty solid player but you know if you're not a superstar or a rookie you get less and less sets this one's kind of cool. It's different, completely different sets. This was a Fleer Ultra. And this is out of Upper Deck, but using really the same source photo to... Or actually, it's not the same uh, photo, because it's you can tell by the placement of the ball that it's at different moments. But there are two photos of the exact same diving catch that he made, which thought that was pretty cool so I've got those together in the binder All 
of stuff there. And so, you know, I don't have enough cards from a year to fill out a, an entire page. I'll leave whatever's empty there just so it makes it easier to add a few cards at a time without having to move stuff around. You can always insert page. Here's once again, you know, a couple different uh, variations. There's that. Getting here towards the end. Still with the angels, but uh, where we go, there's White Sox time period. And that little span of time with the uh, Astros. Like I said, not a lot of sets there at the end. So then to move on to Gordon. And the Gordon's cards, they're all in here just kind of haphazard. But I do try and keep the um, the variations you know, together. So like, you know, the opening day and the holiday version, if it's the same image. Keep those together. Alex Gordon here, another one. He was, uh, I believe, the second overall pick. He came up with the Royals. We may be entering the last year of his career, or may have already finished. I guess it's kind of he's kind of taking some time right now to decide whether he's going to come back for another another year. Give the Royals a hometown discount and finish out another year with the team or whether he's a, he's just ready to hang it up. You say so there's there's the Gordons. And then we got some Jabba Chamberlains here. A couple of pages there. And like anything that's autoed or um, numbered in that, it's all and in top loaders so it won't be here in the binder this page here is just some assorted former huskers that i only had one card of to to show off here in the in a binder page and this one as well and here I've got uh, a couple of bob gibson Bob Gibson's native of Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, played baseball at Creighton University in Nebraska. So a few cards of his. And here we get into some guys that were uh, native Nebraskans that you know played elsewhere. Like Greg Olson played at Auburn. Um, Alan Bennis is Creighton. Uh, Jake Dykeman, I can't remember if he was Creighton or if he played somewhere else. I know Jake Peter played at Creighton as well. And I got a couple of basketball cards in here. Uh, Doug McDermott, he's a Creighton hoopster. And Tyron Liu played at the University of Nebraska. Danny Woodhead, here's another native Nebraskan. He played out at uh, Shadron State College in western Nebraska was where his college ball was played. And you can see there's a couple of uh, Gail Sayers. Played out at Kansas, but also a native of Nebraska. Noah Fant, another native Nebraskan who played at Iowa. And we get into some former Husker football players here. I've got Ndamukong Sioux. More Sue's. There's Mir Abdullah's. Mon Green. More Mon Green. A 
couple more there of Amon Green. We got a few of Tanner Lee. Randy Gregory. Kenny Bell. Mike Kroll. Irving Fryer. There's Bruce Pickens. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Bobby Newcomb page. <laughs> it was I picked up on the Bruce Pickens showing through from the other page. I kind of do that too, where it's like I just kind of put them in random spots here. That way, you know, the binder pages don't look quite so empty as you kind of flip through. Will Compton. There's a little. Got a few Levante Davids. There's uh, Kent McLuhan. Rex Burke. Oh, oh nope, this is actually the uh, Roger Craig page. Rex Burkehead. And see, I didn't collect football cards as a kid, so I didn't have any of these cards until, you know, later on I started... You know, buying a few lots, I pick up some stuff from people, you know, guys will send me stuff of former Huskers, I'll pick up some stuff in fire sales and that. Every now and then I'll pick up some bulk lots on eBay if I see them. Uh, you got this Corel Buckhalter, Johnny the Jet Rogers. Lawrence Phillips, Malik Collins, or wait, sorry, this is uh, Neil Smith page. <laughs> Do that two words, I catch on one person and it's like, oh, that's not who's on this page. I see him from the page behind him. There's Malik Collins. This is uh, Mike Rozier page. Some Trev Alberts. Bear, or, uh, let's see. Oh, this one here is just kind of a page of guys that I only had one one card to put in the binder here. So rather than just do pages with one player, it's like unless I have at least two of a guy, I don't want to dedicate a page to him. So that's uh there. And here we are. There's the end. So thanks for sticking with this. Hope you enjoyed it. Got, uh, you know, looking to expand this binder as I go along. It's still got some room to grow, but uh, I might have to split it up, you know, between baseball and football at some point because the baseball side with Ersted and Gordon got a you know it's a lot easier to grow it than yeah yep those they are the same oh. say hi zach hi hi okay anyway thanks for watching everybody and i will talk to you again next time take care oh sorry i almost forgot I am supposed to uh, call on somebody to be the next link in this binder chain. And so in that, I am going to call for uh, Mr. Ground Chuck, Kyle, to uh, step up and be the next link here in this binder video chain. All right, really gone this time. Take care, everyone. Bye now.